When you turn on the tap to pour yourself a glass of water, do you ever wonder how it got there? Every day the region of Waterloo and the cities and townships work together to provide clean drinking water and treat wastewater. The journey starts at the source. In Waterloo Region, some of our drinking water comes from the Grand River, but most is groundwater. The water is collected, treated, and tested, and then travels through underground pipes to your home. After you are done using it, the water goes through more underground pipes to a wastewater treatment plant where it is cleaned before returning to the local waterway. During this presentation, you will learn about water towers and the role they play as part of the municipal water distribution system. If asked to name one part of the water distribution system, many of us might just say a water tower. Big and tall, water towers come in different shapes and sizes, and as a well-known landmark, you can find them in many communities. In Waterloo Region, there are 10 water towers that are part of the Municipal Water Distribution System. The red dots on this map show the locations of where you can find them. How many water towers have you seen? Do you have a favorite? Water towers are big and tall with lots of room to store water that is ready for us to drink and use for cooking, washing, and so much more. This is a photo of the Freeport Water Tower on Sports World Drive in Kitchener. At a height of 50 meters, it's the tallest water tower in Waterloo Region. That's about the height of a 15-story building. This is a photo of the Pine Bush Water Tower in Cambridge. This water tower can hold up to 17 million liters of water. That's enough water to fill 340 backyard swimming pools. Here's a photo of the first water tower on St. George Street in Kitchener. Built in 1927, the water tower was 38 meters tall and could hold 3.8 million liters of water. In 2006, it was taken down. Once the water has been treated and tested, it might first enter a water tower before continuing its journey through underground pipes to your home. But why do we have water towers? Pressure and gravity move the water through the underground pipes. This is done with the help of pumps. For times when we use more than the normal amounts of water, pumps need a helping hand. Water towers provide extra water when needed and help to maintain normal pressures in the distribution system. Water towers use their height and the large volume of water to move the water down the water tower and through the underground pipes to your home. During the day, most of us are using water. This is when water towers are emptied. At night, when most of us are asleep, is when water towers are refilled, so they are ready to help out as part of the water distribution system once again. To learn more about your drinking water distribution system, visit the Region of Waterloo website at www regionofwaterloo.ca slash learn water.